Neanderthals, often misunderstood, were actually remarkably sophisticated. They crafted complex tools, expressed themselves through art, and even buried their dead with rituals. These early humans were not just survivors in harsh climates, but also innovators and artists. Neanderthals originated around 400,000 years ago, evolving from earlier hominins such as Homo heidelbergensis, a species that had already begun adapting to colder European climates. Their evolution is marked by distinct skeletal features, including a robust physique and large brain case suited for survival in harsh environments. The first recognized Neanderthal fossils were discovered in 1856 in the Neander Valley near Dusseldorf, Germany, sparking significant interest in human evolution. These early findings, initially met with skepticism, laid the groundwork for paleoanthropology and our understanding of human ancestry. Subsequent discoveries across Europe and parts of Western Asia have revealed a wide dispersal of Neanderthals, indicating a successful adaptation to various environments during the Pleistocene epoch. Extensive fossil evidence shows that Neanderthals were well adapted to life in colder climates, with physical characteristics like a large nose for warming and humidifying cold air. Genetic studies have traced the Neanderthal lineage back to a common ancestor with modern humans, diverging around 600,000 years ago. The spread of Neanderthals across Europe was gradual, influenced by climatic changes and the availability of resources. Fossilized remains and artifacts suggest that Neanderthals had a complex culture and advanced tool-making skills, essential for their survival in diverse European landscapes. Isotope analysis of Neanderthal bones has provided insights into their diet, revealing a heavy reliance on meat, which was a crucial adaptation for living in resource-scarce environments. They are believed to have practiced a nomadic or semi-nomadic lifestyle, moving across the landscape, following animal herds and seasonal resources. Their toolkits, consisting of hand axes, spears and scrapers, were adeptly crafted for hunting and processing animal hides. The morphology of Neanderthal skeletons, including strong musculature and thick bones, indicates a physically demanding lifestyle. Cave sites like Shanidar in Iraq and La Chapelle aux Saints in France have yielded crucial insights into their burial practices and social structures. Neanderthals were adept at creating fire, an essential skill for cooking, warmth, and protection in the cold European climate. The discovery of interbreeding between Neanderthals and modern humans has revolutionized our understanding of human evolution, indicating a more complex interaction than previously thought. Neanderthal DNA has been found in modern human genomes, particularly among populations outside of Africa, hinting at their genetic legacy. The range of their habitats, from the Mediterranean forests to the Siberian steppes, showcases their remarkable adaptability. Their tools evolved over time, with later tools showing more sophistication, possibly as a response to environmental challenges or interactions with Homo sapiens. Studies of their cranial capacity suggest they had similar, if not larger, brain sizes compared to contemporary Homo sapiens, challenging assumptions about their cognitive abilities. Their remains have been found in various settings, from open-air sites to deep caves, indicating a flexible approach to choosing habitats. The use of clothing by Neanderthals, inferred from bone and tool evidence, was a critical adaptation for surviving in Ice Age Europe. Reconstructions of their vocal tracks suggest they could have had a language or complex communication system. The diversity in Neanderthal facial features, as seen in different fossil finds, points to a wide genetic variation within the species. Their ability to hunt and process large animals like mammoths and woolly rhinoceroses underscores their advanced hunting strategies and tool use. 
Some sites have shown evidence of plant processing and consumption, indicating a more varied diet than previously thought. The survival of Neanderthals through multiple glacial and interglacial periods demonstrates their resilience and adaptability to changing climates. The use of medicinal plants, as evidenced by dental calculus analysis, suggests an early form of healthcare and knowledge of their natural environment. The presence of symbolic or ornamental objects in Neanderthal sites, although rare, points to a potential for abstract thinking and cultural expression. The anatomical differences between them and modern humans, such as the shape of the ribcage and spine, reveal adaptations to different lifestyles and environments. Their sites often show signs of hearths and controlled use of fire, indicating social and domestic activities centered around these areas. Analysis of their teeth has provided insights into their weaning practices and growth rates, contributing to our understanding of their developmental biology. The distribution of their fossils across Europe and Asia suggests a wide-ranging territory, with groups likely maintaining distinct cultural and genetic identities. Their use of space in living areas, such as separating sleeping and working areas, indicates a level of organization and planning. The discovery of complex stone tool industries, such as the Mosterian, is attributed to Neanderthals, reflecting their technological ingenuity. Their adaptation to varied terrains, from coastal areas to mountainous regions, demonstrates their ecological versatility. The coexistence of Neanderthals and Homo sapiens in some regions of Europe suggests periods of interaction, competition, or even cultural exchange. Studies of their limb proportions reveal a body built for endurance and strength, suitable for their hunter-gatherer lifestyle. The discovery of their footprints at sites like Le Roselle in France offers rare insights into their social behavior and group dynamics. Neanderthal's ability to survive in extreme northern latitudes, as evidenced by sites above the Arctic Circle, showcases their extraordinary adaptability to cold environments. The use of pigments such as ochre found in some archaeological sites hints at possible ritualistic or symbolic behavior. Neanderthal's construction of shelters and use of natural features for protection reflect their environmental engineering skills. The presence of cut marks on animal bones in their sites is indicative of their butchering skills and meat consumption practices. Their management of natural resources, such as selective use of specific stone types for tool making, shows a sophisticated understanding of their environment. The gradual disappearance of Neanderthals, culminating around 40,000 years ago, marks a significant chapter in human evolutionary history, intertwined with the rise of modern Homo sapiens. They were proficient hunters, often targeting large game such as mammoths, woolly rhinos and deer, demonstrating their ability to take down formidable prey. Cave sites across Europe have revealed numerous spear points and other tools, indicating their reliance on these implements for hunting. The discovery of spears made from wood and stone in places like Schöningen, Germany, showcases their skill in crafting hunting weapons. Evidence from cave sites suggests that Neanderthals employed close-quarter hunting tactics, often engaging in dangerous face-to-face -face encounters with large animals. Their hunting strategies were likely complex and varied, possibly including ambush tactics, as suggested by the arrangement of animal remains in some sites. The use of thrusting spears, inferred from wear patterns on spear points, points to their strength and bravery in close combat with large mammals. Cave lion bones found in Neanderthal habitats indicate they might have hunted these formidable predators, a testament to their hunting prowess. Some cave sites have revealed that they selectively hunted prime-aged adult animals, indicating a deep understanding of prey populations. Analysis of bones at sites like Le Cote de saint brelade 
suggest that they may have driven herds of mammoths off cliffs, a strategy requiring coordination and planning. The presence of healed injuries on Neanderthal skeletons implies that hunting was a perilous activity, often resulting in close encounters with large prey. Neanderthal tools found in caves, including scrapers and knives, were likely used in butchering and processing animal carcasses. Isotopic analysis of their bones suggests a high-protein diet, heavily reliant on the meat obtained from hunting. The repetitive nature of injuries found on Neanderthals, similar to those seen in rodeo riders, suggests regular close interaction with large animals during hunts. Flint points from Neanderthal sites, designed for thrusting rather than throwing, indicate their preference for close-range hunting tactics. Their ability to hunt in varied landscapes, from dense forests to open plains, is evident from the distribution of their remains across different terrains. The discovery of large caches of animal bones in their caves, such as those at Krapina, Croatia, suggests efficient and successful hunting methods. Evidence of cooperative hunting is suggested by the scale and nature of animal remains found at their sites. Neanderthals' adaptation to cold climates likely influenced their hunting strategies, focusing on animals adapted to these environments. The strategic location of their habitats, often near migration routes or water sources, indicates an understanding of animal behavior in their hunting tactics. The use of fire in hunting, possibly to drive animals into traps or over cliffs, is a strategy inferred from the archaeological record. The variety of animal species found in Neanderthal dietary remains reflects their adaptability and broad hunting repertoire. Remains of fish and marine animals in some coastal sites indicate they also engaged in fishing and marine hunting. Neanderthal's mastery of tool-making, creating specialized hunting weapons, played a crucial role in their survival as hunters. The presence of wooden spears with fire-hardened tips discovered in several sites highlights their innovation in weapon-making. Group hunting tactics, essential for taking down large and dangerous prey, are implied by the organization of Neanderthal living sites. Neanderthals' robust physique, particularly their strong upper bodies, would have been advantageous in close-quarter combat with large animals. The survival of young and elderly individuals in their groups, despite harsh conditions, suggests successful hunting practices that ensured group sustenance. The spatial arrangement of animal bones and tools in their caves provides clues about their butchering and meat processing activities. The frequent occurrence of large herbivore remains in their sites underscores their reliance on these animals as a primary food source. Some Neanderthal sites contain evidence of traps like pits or natural barriers used to capture or kill prey. Their ability to hunt and survive during different climatic periods illustrates their adaptability and resilience as hunters. The processing of animal hides, suggested by tools found in their sites, was likely an important part of their post-hunting activities. Some Neanderthal bones show signs of nutritional stress, indicating that hunting was sometimes challenging and unpredictable. The existence of specialized hunting tools tailored to different prey and environments showcases their ingenuity. Injuries on Neanderthal remains indicative of close encounters with large prey suggest a high-risk, high-reward hunting strategy. The presence of animal remains in their habitation layers suggests that hunting was central to their daily life and survival. Analysis of wear patterns on their tools provides insights into their butchering techniques, crucial after a successful hunt. The occasional presence of exotic animal species in Neanderthal sites indicates their wide-ranging hunting territories. Neanderthal's ability to sustain themselves primarily through hunting 
is a testament to their skills and adaptability in various environments. The large number of juvenile animal remains in some sites suggests a strategy of targeting easier prey when available. Neanderthals, often perceived as brutish and primitive, actually displayed a capacity for artistic expression, challenging long-held views about human evolution and cognitive development. The discovery of cave paintings at Cueva de los Aviones, a cave in southeastern Spain attributed to Neanderthals, predates the arrival of modern Homo sapiens in Europe, suggesting an independent development of artistic skills. These cave paintings, over 64,000 years old, include hand stencils and geometric patterns, indicating a symbolic or communicative intent. Artifacts like painted shells and pigments found in their sites show use of color, hinting at aesthetic sensibilities. Neanderthal art wasn't just decorative. It likely played a role in their social and possibly spiritual lives. Engraved bones and stones from various sites reveal abstract designs, suggesting a form of prehistoric artistry unique to them. The use of ochre, a natural pigment, in their sites points to their understanding of color use, possibly for body painting or artwork. In addition to visual arts, Neanderthals possibly had a musical inclination, evidenced by the discovery of what could be a flute made from animal bones. This flute found at the cave of Divya Babe in Slovenia, if confirmed as a Neanderthal creation, would indicate a sense of music and rhythm. The care with which Neanderthals buried their dead, sometimes with grave goods, hints at ritualistic practices that could have included artistic elements. The presence of art in Neanderthal culture challenges the stereotype of them as purely survival-focused, showing a complexity in their behavior and cognitive abilities. These artistic expressions contribute to the growing evidence that they had a sophisticated culture, not vastly different from early modern humans. The study of their art not only provides insights into their cognitive abilities, but also helps in understanding the evolutionary roots of human creativity. This re-evaluation of their capabilities, including their artistic endeavors, continues to reshape our understanding of the human story, blurring the lines between them and our own species. The appreciation of their art underscores the importance of not underestimating the cognitive capabilities of archaic human species. Neanderthal art, thus, stands as a testament to the complexity and depth of the human lineage, challenging simplistic narratives of human evolution. The interbreeding of Neanderthals and modern humans, a significant event in human evolutionary history, has left a lasting genetic legacy. Genetic evidence suggests that this interbreeding was not a rare event, but rather a common occurrence during periods of interaction. Approximately 1-2% to of the DNA in non-African modern humans can be traced back to Neanderthals, a testament to this ancient mixing. In certain populations, particularly those of East Asian descent, this percentage can be slightly higher. This Neanderthal DNA has been linked to various aspects of modern human biology, from immune responses to skin and hair characteristics. Certain genes inherited from Neanderthals have been associated with a stronger immune system, helping modern humans adapt to new pathogens. However, this genetic inheritance is a double-edged sword, as some Neanderthal genes may increase susceptibility to allergies and autoimmune diseases. Their contribution to modern human genomes has been linked to traits such as keratin production, influencing hair and skin texture. Research indicates that their genes may affect the shape and size of modern human skulls, subtly influencing brain structure. This influence extends to the risk of developing neurological disorders. Some Neanderthal genes have been associated with an increased risk of depression. Neanderthal genetics have been implicated in influencing sleep patterns, 
potentially affecting circadian rhythms in modern humans. Some studies suggest a link between their genes and the body's response to pain, possibly impacting pain threshold and sensitivity. The metabolism of certain drugs is also influenced by Neanderthal-derived genes, affecting their efficacy and side effects. The long, prominent noses of Neanderthals and adaptation to cold climates may have influenced the nasal structure of some modern human populations. Certain genetic variations related to skin pigmentation inherited from them may have helped modern humans adapt to lesser sunlight environments. The efficiency of energy storage and usage in modern humans, particularly in muscle and fat tissues, may be partly influenced by Neanderthal genetics. Intriguingly, Neanderthal genes may play a role in shaping modern human behavior, influencing traits like risk-taking and aggression, though these links are still being explored. This interbreeding has had a profound and lasting impact on human evolution, shaping aspects of our health, appearance, and even behavior. The study of their genetics in modern humans continues to reveal the intricate ways in which our ancient ancestors have shaped who we are today. The extinction of Neanderthals, a defining event in human history, is a subject of intense scientific debate with multiple theories proposed to explain their disappearance. One leading theory suggests climate change significantly impacted them, altering their habitats and food sources. As the Ice Age intensified, colder, harsher conditions may have made survival more challenging. Another theory posits competition with anatomically modern humans for resources led to their decline. Modern humans may have been more adaptable and efficient in resource utilization, outcompeting Neanderthals. The spread of diseases from modern humans to Neanderthals, to which Neanderthals had no immunity, could have contributed to their decline. They had a lower reproductive rate compared to modern humans, which could have led to their gradual population decrease. Genetic studies suggest a small and declining population size, increasing their vulnerability to extinction. Neanderthals' specialized hunting of large mammals might have been unsustainable as these prey species declined or migrated due to climate changes. The inability to adapt quickly to changing environmental conditions may have played a role in their extinction. Cultural factors such as less sophisticated tool technology compared to modern humans, might have disadvantaged them. Their larger bodies required more energy, possibly making survival in resource-scarce times more difficult. Inbreeding and reduced genetic diversity within small Neanderthal populations might have led to increased susceptibility to disease and reproductive issues. The volcanic supereruption around 40,000 years ago in Italy may have drastically impacted their European habitats. Neanderthals' brain structure, while large, might have been less efficient in certain cognitive tasks, impacting their survival abilities. Their extinction could have been a gradual process rather than a sudden event, resulting from accumulating environmental and competitive pressures. The arrival of modern humans in Europe may have introduced new technologies and social structures that Neanderthals couldn't emulate. The diminishing availability of suitable habitats due to climate change could have led to fragmented Neanderthal populations, weakening their survival chances. Interbreeding with modern humans while contributing to their genetic legacy may have led to the dilution of Neanderthal-specific traits accelerating their disappearance as a distinct group. The reliance on megafauna, which themselves were going extinct, could have led to a food crisis. Changes in vegetation patterns due to climate shifts could have disrupted food sources, particularly their reliance on meat. The disruption of social structures, possibly due to environmental pressures, could have impacted their communities negatively a shift in prey species with a move 
from larger to smaller animals may have challenged hunting strategies which were adapted for larger game. The loss of genetic fitness due to inbreeding, a consequence of dwindling population sizes, could have weakened their ability to adapt to environmental changes. The extinction of other species within Neanderthals' ecosystems, a cascading effect of environmental changes, could have further destabilized their way of life. Diminishing resources could have led to increased conflict within and between Neanderthal groups, further stressing their populations. Competition for shelter, especially during harsh winters, might have been a significant challenge for facing modern human encroachment. The impact of long-term climatic cooling and drying trends could have gradually reduced habitable areas, constraining their population distribution. As their surroundings evolved and modern humans grew in numbers, they may have faced challenges in preserving their lifestyle. The indications of crossbreeding suggest that they were, biologically and perhaps socially, closely connected with our forebears until their final days. Contrary to myth, they were not unsophisticated crude beings, but rather a sophisticated species adept at adapting and innovating. Their tale is not about certain extinction, but about endurance and engagement amidst a constantly evolving world. Their survival over hundreds of thousands of years, advanced tool utilization, and resilience in extreme climates testify to their abilities and strengths. The Neanderthal's heritage endures within us, reflected not just in our genes, but also in our fascination with them. In reconstructing their history, we gain insights into our own potential for diversity, adaptability, and interconnectedness. The narrative of the Neanderthals is, in essence, a tale of perseverance against adversity, the interaction among diverse groups, and the ongoing journey to comprehend our role on Earth. The Neanderthal saga will continue with more such videos on this channel. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.